My name is Saeed al Shahi, and I thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about my project idea. The idea is to create classrooms for the latest topics in addressing cyber attacks, which are different in their offering and the way they are taught to students, namely, educational applications used in the country and adopted by specialists from government and private departments and law enforcement agencies in the country. Taking some useful and up-to-date topics in this field from commercial companies approved by the state, and it is possible to include them in the school curricula. Also, there are accredited simulation programs and others. They are applied classes that are more than dialogues and address the emerging generations from intermediate classes to secondary classes. They are taught as an activity subject and have grades. Their levels of education differ at different ages. Each student has his degree for the following year and the advanced level until he graduates, and the final qualifying result is equalized by allowing him to join either some specialized schools or universities such as 42 and other software or training in governmental and private departments in the cyber field with training contracts that end with employment and among them. We guarantee a future for all future generations in learning and know-how and preserving them, and it is also possible to develop them and making them metaphysical classes and to allow the development of the intellectual mechanism of students, teachers, parents, or the student's family environment. Online learning offers many positive opportunities for learners and educators alike. It is more important than ever to strengthen cybersecurity defenses to deal with new and emerging attacks. This article is designed to help provide teachers, parents, and students with the information they need to identify common cyber threats as well as advice on cybersecurity best practices to help you ease into the new school year safely such as 1. Cybersecurity in the Classroom – What Educators Should Know Cybersecurity shouldn't be limited to the classroom virtual or otherwise. Since most home networks do not provide the same height and firewalls or protection that organizations do, teachers and students become more vulnerable to hacking attempts because they spend more time online. It is important to practice safe online behavior everywhere. 2. Cybersecurity at home, what parents need to know. When it comes to personalized learning, schools typically offer students reliable protection that prevents them from accessing harmful content, while also protecting them from a wide range of threats such as malware or unmoderated social media. This is usually achieved through the use of filters and blacklists, collections of websites that are inaccessible to users, applied on the school's machines or through the school's network connection. However, as young learners shift to digital classrooms, parents may not be able to access the same safeguards established by formal institutions. Conclusion As cyber attackers continue to exploit exploits and introduce new threats and vulnerabilities, teachers, parents, and students must also arm themselves with the knowledge to protect their devices and personal information. Thanks to the many advances in modern technology, online education is more accessible than ever, allowing learners to receive the same high-quality experience and results as traditional education via a virtual experience. However, with these developments comes a growing threat from cybercriminals. It is more important than ever to stay safe. Following the tips above can help secure your technology and personal information better against cybercrime threats.